In this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how to apply a texture to a simple cube. I'll be using Blender 2.63 so um, yeah all the controls if they're different to your version of Blender you might have some difficulty but if you definitely like if you download Blender 2.63 you should be able to do this whole tutorial yourself. So um, yeah, just click on this splash screen to get rid of that. Now use the middle mouse button, hold it down and you can move your view around. Now move it around until you've got your model that's sort of in this position. We'll want to be able to click our edges. So from here we can press tab and you'll notice that down here we've got object mode if you press tab it'll change to edit mode now we want to be in edit mode and from here we can press A and A toggles either all selected or none selected so we press that a few times until we have nothing selected now from here we want to click our edges so that we can define how we want our model unwrapped. So we do that. Down here we've got some icons. We want to click on, I think it's called, there we go, edge select. So make sure you've got edge select selected. Now we use the right mouse button just bang 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 you can select your edges now to, um, to select our seven edges we use the shift button so select that edge down there hold down shift and just go through and snake around this cube and now let go of shift and hold down the middle mouse button and rotate around to the back hold down shift again and then right click on that last edge so there should be seven edges selected and that's that's exactly what we want so this is the these this edge selection is going to become the seam that defines how the unwrapping is going to occur so over here we go we click on this mark seam and now we press A you can press it a few times until nothing's selected. Now here we can see these red lines. The red lines, that's how our cube is going to be unwrapped. So if you can imagine red line across here, this is where it's the faces are going to part away from each other. So if you can imagine this face here is going to fold down and the top's going to fold down with it. And then across the back here, this face here is going to fold down and because these two are joined together this one's going to fold out so this face will end up down here somewhere I think you get get the idea so we've from there we've defined how our unwrap is going to occur now we need to open up a second view so that we can see our our image our PNG image so if we bring our cursor up here you can see how it changes and then we click the button, click the right, ma right mouse button and split area, click left click on split area and then left click around the middle here, doesn't really matter where that'll do. Now we've got our two separate editors. Now in this control down here we can choose what type of editor we want to see. So we want UV image editor. So we select that there now depending where you click the focus will be in each editor you can't see anything there but make sure that you click back in here so that our focus is in this editor now we're in edit mode and we want to select faces so we go down to this control down here we go select faces and we press A you can toggle it uh, you press, keep pressing A until all our faces are selected. The only reason why we do this is so that when we unwrap we'll see a visual rep representation of the unwrapping over here. 
So we press U and it brings up our context menu uh, for UV mapping and we want to choose unwrap. There, we get our unwrapping. Now, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to show you that defining unwrapping, it's you just it's trial and error. Well, it is for me. Um, really, you want this unwrapping instead of it to be on instead of it being on a like a, an angle like this of 10 degrees, you want it to be like at 90 degrees, so it's standing up upright. So just press Control Z because we don't want to use that at all. Press Control Z and keep pressing it until those red lines disappear. Now we're going to shift our model around and we're going to reapply that unwrapping. So we're going to let's go around to say here. Now we select edges. We're in edit mode. We press A to select all and then A to select none because we want to start off with nothing selected and now we go through using shift and we select each side each edge use the middle mouse button to move around we should have seven edges selected and then we go mark seam and we go A to select none and then A to select all, select none and just have a look at these seams just to make sure that they're correct they should basically snake around the cube so yeah that's exactly what we want now before we unwrap we select faces so we we click on this select faces button down here and we press A so that everything's selected and then we go unwrap and that's exactly what we want it just makes the image easier to work with to not have that T on a on an angle so now from here we want to export our mapping so down here we've got UVs we go export UV layout and what that is going to do is going to create a PNG it's going to have that T this T here drawn into it and from there we're going to have a visual representation in the PNG of where each face is going to be mapped onto our cube so we go down to export UV layout and we go to D drive and we go to um, blender and choose cube.png and we also want to save it so we go save as D Blender it's from our last project, but that's fine. So now we should be able to go into Windows Explorer and we can open open up our cube.png. So we just edit it in paint and there we have it. We've got our six faces, one, two, three, four, five, six. And what we're going to do is we're going to flood fill each of these faces with a different color just so that we can identify it in the editor. So just pick a color and go f pick flood fill and just flood each one. Yellow, green, blue and purple and close it and save it. Now if we go into our editor now from here we want to map that PNG file onto our cube in Blender. The way we do that is there's a hierarchy where this model here can have a material and then each material can have many textures. So you go back here, go back to materials and go add a new material this is the color that the mat material is just basically the way I see it as it's a color and you have like shading transparency but don't worry about any of that for now we're just gonna pick a color we'll pick red and we'll give it a name so in here it's gonna be on our cube 
so we call it give it a name cube um, and you can see our material has been drawn onto our cube there but we don't want a color we want a texture so let's go over to textures here and we can go add new it defaults to clouds we don't want clouds pick image or movie which will allow us to pick whatever image file we want and we go open and we open now cube PNG that which is the one that we exported and we pulled into paint and we painted each of the faces so here this is a tiled it's just a representation of our PNG it's the right one um, and we go to materials and we can click a cube over here basically this just gives us a little demo of what it'll look like so um, we'll pick cube now it's kind of getting there we've got our our PNG texture mapped onto a cube but the whole texture is mapped onto one face um, we don't want that we want the we want each of these colored faces to be mapped onto each of the faces of the cube um, so let's go back over to our editor we want to bring in that PNG into our editor here so if we click on our little picture icon here and we can go cube and we zoom out and there we, that's exactly what we want and here we can see where these boxes they represent the faces on the cube and from here we can see that our PNG file it it matches perfectly the faces on this cube which is yeah that's exactly what we want now from here um, we want to see what it looks like when it's being rendered so if you click on this render icon over here and we don't want to display in the image editor we want to display it in a new window because we don't want it overwriting these windows well I don't um, so there you press F12 for a render and there we go we've got our PNG rendered on our cube now it's only rendered on one face it's only halfway there so um, just close that by pressing the X up here so the next step is we want to we want to we want to define the rendering so that it, this whole PNG is wrapped around the whole cube so go down to textures and down here there's coordinates and change this ge generated to UV because we've defined all these UV points and so we don't want generated uh, we want to see um, UV so from here we can go F12 and there we go so we we've changed the rendering so that the rendering is correct but we haven't seen our PNG in our model here so we've got to do that as well so just close that now we've got our our PNG in this editor we've got our PNG in our rendering so the third place is over on our model so just click in here and press um, N and there's a heading display open display and for shading change multi texture to GSL and click textured solid and then press N again and there we go now press tab to get out of edit mode and use the mouse the middle mouse button click it and then you can spin your model around and there you have it you have your texture and it's been mapped onto your cube so from this point you can pull in your PNG file and let's just say we want to pick a certain part of our cube so the top it's purple so we know we want to edit that purple part of our PNG file so from there we can pull our pull in our PNG file into an editor and we can paint whatever we want into this PNG and we can see where it'll be rendered onto our cube so yeah that's it